Hello there, this is Smokey and in this tutorial I will show you how to control Fresnel curve in Cycles. So, first of all, let me start from a really quick summary what does Fresnel do. Well, it helps us to create reflections depending on the viewer's angle. So, in this case, we got reflections only at the edges of the ball, while in the middle it seems like a pure diffuse with no reflections at all. I believe that Fresnel is used in all rendering engines. In V-Ray it works really well with the fall of map. Let me just quickly show you how it's gonna be done. We will work on three sculptures that I downloaded from the Arc Models Volume 34 Evermotion collection. Uh, so let me add a very basic V-Ray material. I will just uh, make this preview a little bit bigger. I will uh, decrease a little bit reflection glossiness. Remember, uh, remember about Antikin Fresnel reflections option and add to reflect slot a fall of map. And you already see that we've got some reflections similar to the ball I showed you a minute ago. And the, the way the reflections appear on our objects are represented by this color ramp down, down below. And how to gain access to the way this color ramp, uh, uh, ramp uh, 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 looks like? Well, you have to enable color map and just change the shape of this curve. So you may force these reflections to appear further from the viewer's angle or faster. So uh, so this way the, the shader looks more like some kind of a metal. All uh, the material, uh, materials that we know in the real world have their own Fresnel curve that is physically correct. You may find these curves at the Refractive Index Info webpage. You can, have, you can find here all kinds of materials including the one you are probably looking for, you need in your scene, and how the Fresnel curve should look like. This is this green line that will give you some, some, uh, 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 that will give you an answer. So your job is to recreate this, this shape of this curve in order to um, uh, to achieve very physically uh, 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 proper results, and I was wondering how to recreate this this process, this this uh, control over Fresnel curve in Blender. And finally, I found a solution that I will just I will share you with you right now. So uh, let me just limit my uh, my scene to only one sculpture. I will, uh, I will switch to rendered, uh, 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 rendered viewport shading and let's check the, the shader. So far it's a pure diffuse. I will add another shader. It's going to be glossy. I will mix this two with a uh, mix shader. And so far we've got well, we've got something that looks horrible and doesn't doesn't look like anything we know from a real world. So we need something to that will control our uh, mix shader, some kind of an input. Usually, you use Fresnel or layer weight. I found out that layer weight is the one that we are looking for. And as you can see, we already uh, we already gain the access of our Fresnel effect using the blend value. I will just decrease roughness for a better uh, look. And now I will add another uh, Now This one is going to be an RGB curves. And there we go. We will. I will get back to 0.5 and already with this curve that is the very same with this one. We can 
control the way the reflections will appear on our objects. So we can just change the shape of our curve and there we go. Reflections are visible on the, the, the edges of our sculpture depending on the viewer's angle. So this is this is something that that gives you all this this really neat feature from V-Ray here in Blender in Cyclos. So this way you can create well more or less plastic like materials like like this one. This is how the curve should look like more or less or more metal-like materials and the curve should look more or less like this. Uh, but that's not all. We can also use this uh, this feature to control all other parameters of our shader. So let me show you another example. I will just uh, just use this lion sculpture and this time I will copy these notes and I will plug them into our roughness uh, 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 plug it into uh, uh, roughness input of glossy shader and we can already see that now we gain access on reflections sharpness depending on the viewers angle so sometimes you may need to uh, to increase the roughness of our reflections at the edges uh, it doesn't happen very often but sometimes like in this case well there's a feeling that on the edges that are uh, that uh, on these edges, uh, well, the reflections seem much sharper than right here. So, so you sometimes you may need to increase the sharpness when uh, the surface gets uh, away from the viewer's angle. So in this case, it should look more or less like. like so. Now we will have a very sharp reflections on the edges while in the front they will, the, the reflections will be much more blurred. But I figured out how to use this, this feature uh, uh, in other situations. So for instance now let me just show you how to sorry how to mix two materials with this uh, with the usage of uh, Fresno curve. So this time I will uh, add completely new material for my object. It's gonna be a red one. Okay. Uh, I will just make it a little bit darker and I will add another material. This one will be a green one. I will mix them together uh, with a mix shader node and once again layer weight RGB curves Fresnel into uh, our color input and there we go as you can see now we can for instance add completely new material on the edges of our object but also we can make our base material we can we can force it to make uh, to uh, uh, to be darker just like uh, it usually happens, for instance, in uh, metal-like materials. So this is this is uh, something that really uh, I will just switch into another color for a better. This is something really 
really neat and gives us uh, uh, an enormous control on our shaders uh, and uh, what's really important is that uh, for me because I, I work with V-Ray as much as in cycles now a very important feature from V-Ray may be uh, switched to uh, cycles so uh, this is it this is this is a uh, uh, small tip that I wanted to share with you. I hope you enjoy that. I, I hope you will find it very useful in your own, own project. So, happy blending 